Hey guys, Matt Goodwin, EliteFTS.com Equipment Sales. Uh, hey, I'm just gonna go over some um, monolift jack care. Um, we've been blowing these things at an alarming rate, and I just think um, maybe a quick tutorial on how to care for these things to make sure we're not um, breaking the seals, busting these things up uh, in your gym. So I know the monolith's new to a lot of people, and you see a lot of videos, and you say, oh, that's the way I gotta do it. So you, know, you wanna treat her nicely, treat her a little gently. You know, when you're pumping this thing, you know, nice, steady pumps. You don't need to sit and hammer the heck out of it. Um, so just take your time, jacking it up, nice and slow, nice and easy. The other thing is um, you want to release the jack to allow the weight to rest on the pins. That's why we send you guys things, these things. So, you know, set your height, get it in your hole, and then release the, the pressure in the jack. And then that way, um, the weight is now supported on the pin instead of the top of the jack. So these are just some minor things. You know, keep an eye on it. Make sure you're not leaking anything. But again, like the main thing is watch your members, watch your um, your, your crew. If they're really pounding on this thing, you know, tell them to chill out a little bit. You know, you don't want to beat it like it owes you money. And make sure you release the pressure and get the weight of the jack to, to rest on this, uh, this cotter pin. It, it'll help the, the life of your jack. You won't be blowing them every six weeks, uh, calling me all upset and irritated because your jack blew. So uh, just some minor things you guys can do to keep these things uh, lasting a little bit longer. Uh, I've been here for 12 years. I think we've only fixed or we've only exchanged one or two of these things in 12 years. So there's definitely something going on out there. Tell your guys to take it easy on the jack, release the pressure, get the weight sitting on that cotter pin.